In today's AI tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a program that allows you to check if something has been written using ChatGPT. This program is so much better than Turnitin and previous AI plagiarism checkers. This is by far the best program that I've tested out that catches almost like 99% of ChatGPT prompts. So I'm going to do some examples today to show you how well it does work. If you do like AI related content, make sure you do subscribe to the channel as I post daily AI tutorials news and just fun challenge videos all together so make sure you do subscribe with that being said let's get into this video so let's write a example prompt into chat gpt that we can use to check for chat gpt plagiarism so i'm gonna ask chat gpt write me two sentences on how orange juice is made a very simple prompt for chat gpt and we're going to put it in chat gpt zero which is the program we're going to be using today to see if it picks up on this plagiarism so let's put it into chat at GPT zero and that's all you have to do you also have to agree to the terms of service and you can get results you can also upload your own file so a document a PDF or a text file which works as well but we're just going to paste it in there and hit get results and bam it knew that this text was likely to be written by AI so you can actually see the way that GPT zero is measuring if your text is written by AI and it's based on perplexity and burstiness of your text. So the perplexity is the measurement of randomness within my text. And as you can see, the score was very low for that average perplexity, meaning that my text that I gave into GPT-0 was not random at all. And then the burstiness score was even lower. So let's go and write our own text on how orange juice is made. And we're gonna put it into GPT-0 and see if it can tell if it was written by human or by AI. Alrighty, so I just wrote, orange juice is made by squeezing in an orange until all the juice falls out along with some pulp. The juice can then be enhanced with artificial flavoring or sugar. So I completely typed this up. Now let's see what GPT-0 is going to say if it's written by AI or by a human. Keep in mind this was entirely by a human. Alright, so it appears that you have to at least write 250 characters in order to get accurate results. So I'm going to add a little bit more to this text okay bam we have our final paragraph that's over 250 characters i said orange juice is made by squeezing an orange until the, all the juice falls out with some pulp the juice can then be enhanced by artificial flavoring or sugar to make the orange juice taste sweeter orange juice can then be served in a glass and consumed so let's see if it can tell if this was written by ai or human and bam it knows that this text was written entirely by a human and we have varying burstiness scores and and perplexity and it also tells you which sentence had the highest perplexity so orange juice can then be served in a glass and consumed was the most obvious sentence that was likely written by a human now i'm going to do a mix of the two i'm going to get some information from chat gpt and the other i'm going to write myself I and mean, i'm going to see if gpt zero is able to pick up on if it was a mixed prompt and maybe which sentences were written by me and what was written by chat gpt so i'm going to ask chat gpt this time how do i start a successful youtube channel so let's see what it says I'm going to copy all of this over. However, I'm going to take out a few lines and add in my own comments and see if GPT-0 can pick up on the fact that it was created by AI. However, a human altered some of the text. Alrighty, so I just finished changing a few things in the original chat GPT prompt that we received. I took some sentences out, I added some sentences, and I changed sentences, and I also left some stuff alone. I know this whole bottom paragraph here, I didn't change any of that, so that's all been made by chat GPT. However, you can see I added in some different corrections, like I added in this line. These other social media platforms like TikTok and Instagram can be main drivers in your overall success. I also added in this line, the YouTube landscape is very competitive so it's important to have good quality or else people will click off your videos to watch others however i didn't do anything to this text so as you can see we have a good mix of my own thoughts along with chat gpt's thoughts 
And here is the main decider if GPT-0 is legit, because I know many students in school aren't stupid enough to just copy word for word everything ChatGPT gives them. However, they're going to change a few things here and there. So this would be an accurate result of what someone would probably submit in school. So let's see what it tells us if it's written by a human or by AI. And it's telling us it was likely to be written entirely by AI, even though the fact that a human did write some stuff, it is saying that it is AI content and it is getting picked up for that. Now what's funny is that it actually did pick up the sentence with the highest perplexity, meaning the sentence that was least likely to be written by AI, and that had a perplexity of 198, which is very high, and that was the line that I put in there that was, this plan will be your foolproof guide to navigating the YouTube space. This was written by me, not AI, so it is picking up on the things that weren't written by AI, which is amazing. So yeah, I would give GPT-0 a three out of three for getting all of those right or mostly right. I guess the last one, I don't know if you'd count 100% right because I did do changes and it said it was almost entirely written by AI, which wasn't true. I rewrote a few things. However, for the most part, it was true. So if you do want to check for any AI plagiarism, I'd say GPT-0 currently is the best program to do that. Now I'm just going to do one final test. So I'm going to copy this output that ChatGPT gave us and I'm going to put it in an AI paragraph rewriter that's supposed to save you from any plagiarism. So I'm going to ask it to rewrite my paragraph and then I'm going to paste this in GPT-0 and see if this AI paragraph rewriter is able to get past GPT-0. So let's paste this in and see if GPT-0 is able to pick up on our reworded prompt that was originally written by ChatGPT. And as you can see, the reworder actually worked. The AI paragraph rewriter worked. So this is very interesting that GPT-0 was not able to pick up once the prompt was rewritten by another AI program. So if you did want to get around this, this is probably your solution to doing so. Keep in mind, I did absolutely no changes to these sentences and it's saying one of our sentences has a 160 perplexity rating, which is crazy because it was originally written by AI. So yeah, I guess that's the workaround to GPT-0 right now. However, if you're trying to get away with just copying and pasting chat GPT, I'm telling you that they will be able to catch you for plagiarism. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have the links to everything down below and make sure you do subscribe if you're into AI related content. I post daily about all the latest and greatest news and technologies within AI. And if you're interested in building a business with AI, I'm coming out with a course very soon. So do stay tuned for that. With that being said, have yourselves a fantastic day. See you.